So I guess diving deeper just for people to better understand like what the unit is and, and Delta in general. How would you compare Delta and something like SEAL Team 6, which is pretty popularized for, for most people, whether it be movies yeah. or whatever it might be? And so um, there's all, there's, they, they're essentially the same. They're the same thing in a, in, a, in a different organization. So there's only two tier one direct action units, in, you know, in, in the military. And that's, and that's not a secret. That's, that's just the truth. And, uh, and, and it's us and them. And we're set up similar. Our training is similar. Our objectives are similar. Our mission set's similar. Hostage rescue. Um, so, and there's, and people think there's a lot of, um, uh, a lot of, you know, contempt between the two that SEAL Team 6 may not like the Delta Force and, and vice versa because uh, it's an Army-Navy thing. And it's absolutely not true. Those, those guys... Uh, I have the utmost respect for those guys. I'd go anywhere with them and, and, and vice versa. Like that's, um, that happens more like on a, on a joking side, you know, at, at times, but you know, when it, when it really comes down to it, we have so much respect for each other. I don't think most people would ever un understand, uh, how much, how much re respect we have for each other. Mm -hmm. So continuing into kind of the Q school for, for Delta, obviously can't go into too much, too much detail on it, but you know, what was that experience like? And I guess what was the mindset going into it? Again, it's, it's, it's just an unknown. So, uh, there really is no, it's hard to have a mindset other, other than I can only be as prepared as, as I can be. I know that sounds like an oversimplification uh, of sorts, but, but at the same time, I know this, if I were to get cut, and I thought, man, there were a couple of days I didn't work out. You know, maybe that was it. There was a couple of opportunities I had to, I had to go to the range and shoot a few more times. Maybe I should have done that. I left I left no room for her for questioning or no, left no room for for self evaluation to say what could I have done better. Um, so at the end of the day, that's 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 all I can control is me, and and the unknowns is just they are what they are. Now I did know this. At the end of the day, the um, the unknown standards, which is what they are. I, I don't know what their standards are. Uh, the um, that the guys, my teammates, my left and right, had to meet those same standards. So I was I I was always under this. Um, I don't know this this little tactic always made me feel a little better. Like so, I may not be the best in the class. Um, but I know I'm not the worst in the class. And although that he's a good dude over there, I know I'm better than him. And until they cut him, I'll, you know, <laughs> I'll keep working hard, but I, but I think I still got a, a, a safe spot Then eventually they would, they'd cut that guy. And I'm like, Oh crap. I well, I'm still not the best guy in the class, but I know I'm not the worst guy in the class. Cause that other guy's still here. And although he's a good dude, you know, I, I think, uh, I think they'll cut him first. They cut me. And uh, I think that type of mentality kept my uh, kept my mind in bay from 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 wondering and and thinking, you know, and stressing. It's it's a lot of self induced stress that you can put on yourself. Like, are they going to cut me today? Are they cut me today? Just finding a reason to have uh, you know some some level of confidence that that you deserve to be here. Although, you know, again, don't take that out of context. I never thought I deserved to be there, but I just needed something to make me at least pretend to feel good. Like, you know, as, if I keep working and this, this might work out after all. I think at some level to be able to even get through that in the first place, you kind of have to have that confidence. You know, I always talk myself with a background of like MMA. It's like no. to get in that cage, you got to be a little bit of crazy and say, I can, I can do this. You're not getting in there if you don't think you can do it. Yeah. And, and even though I said, well, I'm not the, you know, I'm not the best guy in the class. Um, I, I thought I thought I could compete for the best guy in the class, you know. I I, I did, and uh, and trust me when you know when 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 we stacked up against that wall and put a charger in that door, I I thought to myself, you know, this group of guys should, are going to be in our you know on the, on our way to be the best guys in the world at at this job, 
I think it's a really difficult thing to walk that line when you're when you're when you're operating at such a high level. And it is. There's there's no humble way to say this. Um, the Delta Force is the best in the world at hostage rescue CQB. Bar none. End of statement. I'll uh, I don't apologize for that. And if and if you were a Delta Force operator and didn't believe that, I'd I'd question I'd I'd question how much longer you're going to stay here. You better believe that, or you're not cut out to do this job. It is not a job for people who think who think that maybe they're not the best or who think that, you know, maybe someone better should be doing this job because someone better will take that job. So it, it leaves little room for error. But at the same time, I think culturally they do a very good job like um, of wanting a guy that knows he's the best in the world but also can walk that line and see like, but how can I be better? Cause you can't be both. If you're the best in the world, how can you be better? You're the best in the world. And that, and to me, that's a culture thing. They do a very good job of even, even though these guys are the most lethal people, the best of what they do. Uh, if you ever met them and talked to them, you, you'd think they're incredibly humble. Um, I don't think they're incredibly humble people when they're on a black hawk in the middle of the night flying to an objective. I can I can attest for that. I don't think I was a very humble guy at that point. I'd have if you'd asked me a question, I'd told you very straight up, you know, how how good we were. But you know, as as soon as we get off the helicopter, as soon as we get back to the United States, and you know, as soon as um it's a tightrope to walk, but I think that culture does a good job of, of setting that. So whether it's a story or more generalized detail, how do you think this Delta Force Q school kind of separates from previous experience with Green Beret Q school and just more other general schools out there? Again, I don't know the standards. So I, so I can't, I can't, I can't talk the standards, but I know about the standards and they're, and they're high standards. You know, at the end of the day, there are some guys that graduated Green Beret training that I knew were good dudes. I'm like, mm, I don't know if he was going to make it or not, but he's here. And so he's, you know, you assume he earned it. Um, but uh, when you're at the end of that training, like there are days they cut a guy and like, I can't believe they cut that guy. That guy was good. <laughs> uh, and when, when, when you end with the small, number that we had and you look around at that few those few guys and you're like and you know how good those guys are and you and you want to believe that you does you know you earned you earned that spot to be standing there next to them it's in itself humbling it is absolutely humbling so they have a high standard they maintain that high standard and sometimes that's believe it or not that's hard to find even within special operations so let me ask this, and obviously, again, don't have to get too too specific, but was there any moments where you really felt like, this is it, I'm not going to be able to make it through, and how did you overcome that? Nope. No, I just, um, I never questioned myself and my abilities. Um, and, I, and I always thought I belonged. And the reason why I always thought I belonged is because after work, I always always put in the hard work to prove I belonged. So I knew that I knew I was talented enough. I did. I knew I was talented enough, and I knew it was up to me to put in the hard work. And if I put in the hard work, that 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 I would be there at the end, barring injury or some stupid mistake that 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 I would make. I knew I would be there. Um, so I I. I I never questioned myself to that degree, never.